Hello Aquas, it's Leonore. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you for stopping by. For those who view me for the first time, welcome. This is going to be your Q&A singles love read for June and July. All right, this is something that I do. Um, it's like my second segment for love readings, but just solely for my singles or those who a crushing on someone or newly in a relationship all right so this is this reading this is um this reading applies to that crowd um but i do have another segment that has to do with love readings but those the love readings are for people that are in between everything okay whatever this is just solely for my singles <laughs> aquas um the general readings will be coming out as soon as i finish all my singles so sometime next week i'm going to start the general readings um for all 12 zodiac signs okay um also follow me and subscribe um i have all these links in my description box okay so i have the um in instagram and tiktok link on there i do nightly oracle spreads on both those platforms so if you don't have instagram you could follow me on tiktok if you don't have tiktok you could follow me on instagram um so i do these nightly oracle messages for um for couples singles finance drama horror and uh, my second channel i do have a second channel so please follow me subscribe on that channel as well the riley and leonore channel okay moving on all right aquas in this q a singles love read i ask four specific questions one who's thinking about me two how does my new crush feel about me three if my future long-term partner can write me a letter what would it say and four does my new love come with baggage Let's get started. One, who's thinking about me? All right, in these Q and A's, I always invite my cross watchers. Hi, cross watchers, what up? All right, let's see. Okay, so very strong water placement, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, if that means anything to you. I also have Leo, but it could be any fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Um, all right. So who's thinking about me? Let's see. Who is thinking about my aquas? Uh, wow. Um, this person, either you or this person is in pain. I Honestly, this could be physical pain. Wow. Okay, that's weird. Um, I want to say emotional. It could be for a small group of you, but I'm not. I'm, I'm honestly picking up physical pain more than emotional. Um, blinded to pain and atonement. Um, I don't know why. I, you may know this person, Aquas. Um, this could be a person, the person that's coming towards you. Um, there is something about this person that is um, in physical pain. Could be back problems. Could be a physical ailment. Um, some type of health health issue. Um, I also sense surgery. You know, maybe maybe they're gonna go through surgery. Um, interestingly enough, maybe when you first meet them, they just finish having surgery. It could be as, you know, as little as cosmetic surgery or as big as something that has to do with health issues. Um, or they just have health issues, period. Um, but maybe for a small group of you, it could just honestly be emotional pain. If it is emotional pain, I'll tell you right now, it has to do with an ex. They're carrying some type of um, baggage when it comes to their ex emotionally, either you or this person. Okay, moving on. But that's for a small group of you, honestly. All right, so who's thinking about me? Um, you know, I feel like you're going to meet this person at a party or some type of event. Could be online um, with the Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Could be a very strong fire sign here with the King of Wands. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or um, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, I do send some type of, um, like you're meeting this person. I don't know. I don't know where. Could be at a, um, any, like I said, an event. It's somewhere like you least expect it is what I'm sensing. Like somewhere where you least expect it. Um, if, if you do know this person, Aquas, then you met this person either online or somewhere um, where you least expect it is what I'm hearing or at least expected it to meet, expected to meet this person. Um, I'm sensing honestly very strongly that when you meet this person or the person that you, for some of you, you already met this person because I am reading for both groups here. I haven't really picked up honestly if it's if it's my singles who haven't met anyone or for people that have that have met someone just recently. It could honestly I could be honestly talking to both of you, okay? Um this person's going to want to have children with you. <laughs> um yeah. Okay. Um could also be someone that's already a parent you know so they may already have children you may you may already have children or a child um but i i am sensing parents here like either they're trying to really like I, there's something about you aquas that they're like no i want to i want you to be like the parent of my child or children you may feel this way about them or you know for a small group of you you already have children so that's maybe that's why the queen of pentacles is here but that's um that's very strong in this reading so that's who's thinking about you let's move on to the next question how does my new crush feel about me how does my new crush feel about me all right let's find out Hmm. Wow. This is crazy, Aquas. Um, your new crush is crazy. Interesting. All right, let's let's see. So, how does my new crush feel about me? Again, this is for someone that you just met or this could be a prediction for my singles for the next 2 months, June and July. All right, so it could be a very strong um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They may have that in their placement. It could also be um, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be, but I'm picking that up. Also, I see Pisces. <sighs> how does my new crush feel about me? They're not, they're, they're not going to be very quiet about how they feel about you. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, with the King of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, I'm sensing like as soon as this person meets you or as soon as they feel like they're expressing their emotions to you, it's it's going to be loud, clear, and um, even um, forceful. I don't know why I want to say that, but like forceful, like, you know, um, as if, um, for example... Like the way I'm, I'm kind of sensing this energy is, um, you, you may just take the relationship lightly, Aquas. You know, like at first you may take the relationship very lightly. You may take this person lightly. You may just take you just, maybe just want to be friends with this person, honestly. And this person is gonna be like, yeah, but I feel very strongly about you. I want you to be my wife, my spouse. You know. Um, or, you know, something long term, right? And you're going to like be like, wait, well, hold on a second. Yeah, th that's not where my head is at right now. You know, vice versa, if it's vice versa. Um, that's the energy of that situation. Um, yeah. 
Um, wow, backwards. Um, then I have the Hermit and the Three of Wands also in the reverse. Listen. <laughs> Aquarius. Um, I don't know how you feel about this. This is a person that's going to be... Um, like speed lightning lightning like 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 yeah i'm ready to take it to the next level they're not gonna hold back not with the three of wands and the hermit in the reverse they're not trying to hold back they're not trying to hide their feelings they're not trying to beat around the bush you know i do sense for a small group of you you know this person especially with the three of cups coming here in the very beginning like, you know this person, and this person might have not been this way. Maybe in the past, this person was a whole different energy. They were like, yeah, I'm not interested in being in a relationship with you or anyone. Or maybe they were tied in, in another relationship. But now they're coming in very strongly, and they want a, a full-blown relationship with you. That's for a small group of you. For the rest of you who don't know this person, this person is not going to beat around the bush. Like, they're, they're like, yeah. No, I made up my mind, Aquas, and you're the one for me, you know? Um, then I have the High Priestess here and um, the Two of Swords. This, okay. So I had just mentioned that this person, you know, there is like a small energy here and it pertains to a small group of you where this person may be already in a relationship with someone else or they're still emotionally attached to someone else. Could be the parent of their child, could be. Um, I'm seeing it here again. For a small group of you, not all of you, um, with the High Priestess and the Two of Swords, like, you know, despite what I just said, this person is still going to feel this way about you, Aquas. It's just that there's someone else, okay? I am going to ask, um, does my new love come with baggage? So we'll get deeper into the energy. Um, we'll see what type of baggage this is, but I do sense they're, they're not disclosing something when it comes to another relationship, okay? Could be you, could be this person. All right. Um, all right, let's move on to the next question. If my future long-term partner can write me a letter, what would it say? Let's find out. All right. Um, in these letters or love letters, I like to make them in letter format. So just bear with me while I read the energy. All right, so I do sense very strong, again, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If that means anything to you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is also very strong. Doesn't have to be, but it is coming up here. Um, could be also Sagittarius, um, if that means anything to you. All right, Aquas. Um, ready? To whom it may concern. <sighs> I feel like I've traveled the world especially the internet, for someone like you. I'm not going to lie, but I obsessively look for you in the internet. Sometimes I Google your name. Sometimes I go through social medias to find you. Sometimes I go through your friends or family members' social media to find you. I know it's creepy and I don't care. You're someone that's childlike to me, and I, pre and I appreciate that. I need someone fun, because right now my life is too serious. I hope you don't 
regret me saying something like this to you. I'm sorry. I hope I, I don't. I hope I don't regret saying something like this to you. But this is how I really feel. I want to have the strength to come towards you and tell you that I want to take care of you, protect you, even capture you so that no one else takes you. But I promise you that I don't want to hurt you. I hope that you don't take it that way. I will never hurt you. I hate that other people are attracted to you, but what can I do? You are attractive. I'm not waiting any longer for you. I'm pursuing you with all my strength. And the day that happens, I just want to let you know that you need to let go of anyone who's pursuing you or anyone that you're interested in. You may not like what I'm saying and that's okay. You could argue with me all you want. You could convince me otherwise, but I know what I want from you. I want a relationship with no lies, no hidden tendencies. I also feel that at the time, maybe it's not the right time to approach you and tell you this, but I hope this letter finds you well the end all right um listen i did say something about this person um i don't know aquas there's something not right about this person i don't the devil came out here in the um in the love letter or letter love letter honestly um this is obsessive behavior. Okay. Um, I already kind of said that this person can be forceful and will be forceful um, towards you. Um, especially here, I saw the strength card. They want to protect you, but they're doing it in like, not, a, again, I keep saying not health, not in a healthy way. Um, and listen, you could tell this person all you want about um, why you're not ready to work out the relationship um you know if for some of you that that may be a past person um and i don't know if i'm talking to people that you know um were already in a relationship with this person i don't know if i'm talking to people that um thought about being in a relationship with this person vice versa if it's vice versa but didn't work out um because for some of you i am picking that up for the rest of you it's a new person that's coming in towards you um, and they're not going to hold back, but there is something really forceful um, about this person, close to obsessive. And you may tell them, you know, well, you know, you need to chill, you need to relax, you know. You know, when I see the scissors here, the magnet, even the pentacle here, is this a pentacle? It's like a coin. You know, these are objects that can't be... Um, I, like, I see the magnet here. It's like, um, there's something about, like, this person doesn't want to let go of you. They won't let go of you. They're going to be possessive. Um, you know, I said the word obsessive, but I, I don't know why I'm picking up with these objects that they could, they could be possessive as well. And you and I feel like Aquas, I, and I know Aquas, I know you, you're going to be like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't do possessiveness. I don't do clingy, clingy, clinginess. I don't feel like this person is clingy. Um, I just sense that they really want you. But um, I don't know if you're going to like the approach. And you may talk to them about that type of approach. Like you need to take it easy. I'm not into that shit. You need to relax, you know. Um, I don't like to be forced into relationships. And they're going to be like, okay. Like if you see his face. He's like, okay, I, I, I'm, I, I'm like, he, it's like, you're talking to this person. And it's like, it's one ear out the other. Wow. 
All right, let's go to the next question. Um, does my new love come with baggage? Does my new love come with baggage? All right, we wanted to get to the bottom of this, didn't we? Um, yeah, this is emotional baggage. Okay. It could be from a past relationship. All right. All right, that makes sense now. All right, we got the clear picture here. With the moon card and the three of swords in the reverse. You know, I did pick up like a past person. I don't know if you remember with the high priestess. With the high priestess and the two of swords here Um, in the second question. I kind of felt like there was a lingering energy here. But this is emotional baggage. It totally makes sense now. Um, so they may be heartbroken over a situation that happened in a past relationship. Um, this, this could be honestly even you. For, a small, for the small group of you that could be a past person, they may still be heartbroken. You may still be heartbroken. You know, who knows? But there is some type of emotional baggage lingering between the both of you. Um, for a small group of you. Um, could be between the both of you if you know this person. It could be just, if you don't know this person, it could just be a past relationship that they're still, you know, hurt by it. And they think about it constantly. With the moon card and the three of swords. Could you, this also could be you, Aquas. Um, this is very strong Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, if that means anything to you. Wow, what the hell is this? What the fuck? Does my new love come with baggage? I, I don't like this. All right, hold on, Aquas. This just took a turn for me. Yeah, this person, okay. See, this this energy, the temple of my body, this is worse than me seeing the devil card. I had mentioned something about obsessive behavior with this person, and I'm looking at the temple of my body. This is like the devil times two. This energy here that I just picked up has is half of the devil's energy. Like, but like now that I see these two cards together in your reading, Aquas, I don't, I don't know, I don't like it. Um, there's still something weird about this person. I, I kind of picked it up with the priestess. Some of you could be very intuitive or have some type of um, cosmic knowledge or esoteric knowledge and that's fine um someone here though okay okay there's two groups of you i'm gonna say the first story the first story when i see this this is um this card here is that some of you have amazing supernatural abilities your spiritual gifts are, are given to you and the power of those gifts are a force to be reckoned with. That's for some of you. Another story is that this person is um, so I'm picking up a past life here that you had with this person so this is a soulmate of yours <sighs> that you already have known in the past life aquas i don't like the energy here this person um, was also very obsessive and possessive one or the other if not both in your past life you already had a relationship with this person in a past life and this person, I there's either one or two things. This person could have been abusive towards you. I don't know. That could be mentally abusive, psych, you know, psychologically abusive, emotionally abusive, or worse. Honestly, I'm picking up worse. Yeah. With the sun card. Some of you may be in the limelight here. Um, if you're not in the limelight... It's like this is exactly the energy I'm talking about. Um, you, I had mentioned this person wants children with you or a child with you. Um, this person wants a future with you with the sun card here. Be very careful. Um, 
I don't like this energy, honestly. Uh, especially if it's a soulmate of yours, Jesus. Yeah, it is a soulmate of yours. Because um, I'm seeing the number two here. Maybe a twin flame for for one or two of you. If it's a twin flame, it's someone you know. Um, it's someone you know from the past. Um, if you don't, if you're if you're asking me, Leonor, how do I know if this is my twin flame? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Twin flame soulmates. I'm just letting you know. You know this person from the past whether they're your twin flame or your soulmate, that you know this this person is in your soul tribe. Um, and I don't like I don't like the past energy. Um, and I don't like the current energy. Aquas. Alright. Um that's the end of your reading. I'm over it. <laughs> if you need a private reading, my email is in the description box. Love you. Bye.